Welcome to another video. Today we're going to show you how to get set up with the monitor for remote inspection on the Arduino Portenter H7 board. The Portenter board is absolutely packed with features with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and Ethernet connectivity along with two cores running at 480 and 240 megahertz respectively. There are a variety of breakout boards available to expose its vast array of features and pins, from simple breakouts exposing all of the I.O. pins to live camera AI processing shields, along with the ability to run an external monitor using its inbuilt GPU. The STM32H7 chip has two separate cores, which can be programmed independently, giving you complete control over which tasks are allocated to which processor, as well as the ability to communicate between the cores using the RPC mechanism. It comes with the added advantage that this is designed with industrial applications and certification in mind for your end product, so the perfect platform to develop your next commercial product. Getting set up to program the board in Visual Micro is as simple as installing the latest Embed OS Portenter board package from the Micro Explorer. Once this is installed, we can select the board with the M7 core from the drop down boards list. We can also get the MRI debugging working without any additional hardware by selecting the debug hardware and MRI debug option. Then we will need to set the debug COM port to the COM port exposed by the board for serial communications. Our code will start with the thread debug example as a template which includes the library and setup code for debugging. You can of course add this to a sketch you already have. Please note, at present, we have only been able to debug the M7 core, so we've not been able to get the M4 core debugging through this mechanism so far. However, when this is available, we will do another update. Before you upload your code, ensure you have double tapped the reset button on the board to put it into its bootloader mode. Check the COM port at this point to ensure you have the correct one selected for upload. Once we've uploaded our sketch, we can run the debug attached process to start the debugging session off. When using the debug break in setup parameter when initializing the thread debug object, the board waits for you to attach the debugger before beginning execution of the program. This can be changed if you want to allow the board to just start execution before you attach the debugger. You can then navigate and reconfigure your breakpoints as needed as well as watching variables and viewing the registers and disassembly. More information about using the hardware debugging interface can be seen in the video in the top right. When you want to end the debugging session, simply press the stop button and then tap reset on your board once to ensure it's available for debugging as normal. Hopefully this gets you up and running quickly and easily with the debugging capabilities built into the board on the board center. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and please do check out the other videos on our channel.